this is part two of Andrew's story. Uh, since our last um, interview, um, Andrew has made a lot of improvements. Um, like he said earlier, uh, when he was first diagnosed, you know, we flew up here because it was either D.M. Anderson in Houston, Texas, or Mayo. Those are the only two hospitals that would really want him. Um, so we came up here. Um, he went through his surgery. Um, he started radiation, and then all of a sudden he developed this pilonidal cyst. Kind of not all of a sudden he fell down like a couple of steps going down to his bedroom. And um, they did this MRI, found that he had a vascular necrosis in his hips. So after multiple surgeries within, I want to say, seven months time, radiation went well. He didn't have nearly as many side effects. You know, they said his throat would burn, this would burn, that would burn. He had a sore throat, I think, for a day. Um, like you said, he lost his taste buds, you know, the taste for about six months. Um, didn't want to eat a lot. We went through a battle here for the past two years because Andrew couldn't gain weight. I don't have any regrets about coming to Mayo. I've never had any second thoughts. I've never had any question in my mind that we should have ever gone anyplace else. Um, I am, I am very grateful to them. You know, it's been a long haul. Um, there for a while, I kind of had doubts if his cancer would ever get better, because, like I said, it's it's just one of those rare forms, and of course, had many tears. You know. Uh, wondering, you know, what the future would hold, but it was actually three years ago, August 5th, when I received a phone call that they found a mass at the base of Andrew's brain, and um, I didn't think he'd be here. I really didn't. I really thought we'd be doing other things, and Mayo turned that around. They turned it around. Um, they proved me wrong, and I recommend them. I mean, I recommend Mayo to anybody who has problems. And I have had other people tell me, oh, you need to go to Mayo. And I've said, oh, already been there, you know. Um, don't have to tell me twice that we need to come here. It's worth it. It is so worth coming here. The doctors are great. The staff is great. I don't think we've ever had anybody be rude to us, mean to us, um, or anything. People have always, the staff here has always gone out of their way to help us, and I like that. This place has developed a reputation for not only their knowledge and their experience in the things that they have gone to school and study, but the staff, anyone who works here, they've always been very friendly and very pleasant and have always gone out of the way, over the phone, in person, wherever, it doesn't matter. So, you know, this is, and I've always thought if something really bad ever happened to me, the first words out of my mouth to my family doctor would be, send me to Mayo.